Hey guys, well, back from friggin' Mudden. Uh, it's the next day now. Um, I'm fixing this. A stupid thing. I don't know if you guys have seen me friggin' jacking this trailer up or not, but uh, this thing is loose as for egg. Like, um, when I got the end on it, I'm cranking. I'm almost busting my knuckles on that, so uh, I figured, uh, what the heck, I'll friggin' take it apart. I friggin' hammered this back straight. It was friggin' mushroomed as frig. But, uh, yeah, so I hammered that straight and freaking welded both sides of it up. So, that guy goes in there like that. And you can see how much it was freaking wearing. It's just, there's a freaking huge gap there. So this thing was just spinning like tons. So uh, what I'm planning to do is, I freaking took a piece of freaking, what is it, inch and a half square tube. <laughs> it's not even square tube, inch and a half friggin' tube. And uh, ground the seam out of it so it fits seamlessly. <laughs> and then um, what I'm gonna do is freaking cut a piece, weld it to this collar that I built, and then weld it to there. So it'll be all freaking nice and supported, and I won't freaking break my knuckles. Because I've never freaking tried to take this trailer off with Beastie on it. Beastie's freaking heavier as frig. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't do it last night. And it was freaking 10 o'clock by the time I got back and just freezing because freaking Cummins doesn't have a heater yet. <laughs> Guess I kind of been slacking on that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was raining and snowing and freaking just cold. So I was frozen by the time we got back. So I was like, ah, frig it, I'll just deal with it tomorrow. And now it's tomorrow. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna freaking get this piece cut and uh, <clears throat> get a piece welded onto here and then freaking clean all that crap off. And this thing was just absolutely covered in mud. Like we took back roads there. I don't, I don't know why. Um, and I burned half a tank <laughs> in the Cummins, which was freaking a lot. And uh, yeah, it wasn't even that far. So, but anyways, I'll get to this and stop mumbling. Well guys, got my piece cut. I just used uh, an old piece that already had a freaking notch into it. But anyways, so that'll go like that. And then uh, we'll go like that. So, freaking rates. That should work. And I don't think it's gonna interfere with the freaking the handle guy getting stabbed into that uh, freaking place, but uh, that should work so much better. So anyways, I'm gonna freaking weld this thing up to that, and then we'll freaking weld it to that, and I'll put it all back together, and Bob will be your uncle.
friggin' rights, guys. Look what we did. Yeah. No more knuckle buster. That's awesome. Now maybe I can friggin' lift the trailer up with the friggin' beastie on it. That was a pain before. And it locks. Yeah. Anyways, I think I'll slap a little bit of freaking paint on that and then uh, I gotta frig off. Yeah, I gotta go. But first I'm gonna get rid of this stupid thing. I keep whacking my head on it and it doesn't feel good. So it's just got uh, a couple bolts, looks like maybe inch or an inch and a sixteenth or something. I'm gonna wind that out and remove it because it's a freaking noggin catcher. <laughs> just always hitting my head on it. So. Yeah, it was close. It was an inch and an eighth, and uh, yeah, now I freaking won't knock my head anymore. <laughs> but uh, another thing I want to do is freaking get a, a spring or something to hold this guy up here. I can't even see. Hold it up there because what happens is when I'm freaking backing up, and I got it at a uh, freaking jackknife position, this thing will actually swing over to here, and uh, it'll end up looping around or something like that. And when I straighten out, it'll freaking put tension on it, and rip the plug out. I've done it three times now, and it's extremely annoying so uh, I'm gonna try to find a spring and freaking do that because I don't like freaking rewiring it every time I go to use the trailer <laughs> anyways guys I guess I got a little bit excited and uh, forgot to make an outro for this video so um, yeah the trailer works so much better now I noticed that um, that tube that I welded the thing when you get a lot of weight on it and you crank and it kind of flexes the entire plate so I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to do with that but uh, I'm thinking eventually it's gonna distress the friggin metal because it it's pulling away probably maybe an eighth of an inch maybe so but whatever for now it works and it works good and I just go to email or something but anyways uh, thanks for watching guys and until next time take care